What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense, and this is crazy. At this point, I'm like an investigative journalist like Portia. Uh, <laughs> I got a picture of the alleged mistress along with the receipts that came from Robin. So I let you guys hear the Patreon, and now we're getting into Robin actually exposing the lady, and then I found her picture. So like this video. If you are new to my channel, subscribe as I play my intro and we are gonna get into some things make it make sense because somebody please make it make sense big moves surfer make it make sense tell me how you squeeze it make it make sense tell me about the things that you say make it make sense tell me about the things that you say I should have known better when I seen her hair. I got a feel. <laughs> okay, guys. So here we are. I actually took one for the team and I subscribed to the Patreon. But at the tail end of that Patreon that you guys haven't heard yet, Robin actually gave us all the clues that we needed to find out who the mistress was. And she is not trying to be a private citizen. So this is alleged. But um, I have the receipts from Robin and the receipts from the blog that it was posted on. So we're going to show you everything and including the lady's picture. So let's first get into the Patreon where Robin actually tells us exactly where we can find her. Understand that. Y'all, side note, I really do feel like Portia right now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I work for Dish Nation. I am in the world of journalism. So my uh. work... <laughs> I'm in the world of journalism, I guess. No. <laughs> so let's get into what they say. But, you know, whatever. People, she said, um, she said something like, I'm going to become famous off of y'all. So. <laughs> but we said, you haven't even come forward, sweetie. Right. I mean, and, and maybe she has. But I had seen her commenting on blogs, like, you know, throughout the season. Like, any Oh, really? Yeah. So this is where we're getting into it. Uh, so you remember the one time the <laughs> the young lady went ran to Twitter talking about I saw Juan and Zara with the woman. Yes. And I'm like, that's yeah. his assistant coach. Right. And they're buying clothes for the season. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. That was posted on the Jasmine brand. In Robin's defense, it has to suck to be a woman who was cheated on multiple times. It's aired on national TV. And now anytime somebody sees your husband with a woman, it becomes a story. So I feel bad for her in that sense. But in the sense of everything else, you deserve better. Ditch him. Brand. And she was in the comments. Oh, uh, what she's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And he best and he's the player. And whatever. I don't know. She was in the comments doing doing her thing. Doing her thing. And okay. it's like, okay, you just really want to be seen. Like, yeah. You're they're very thirsty people out here. The yeah. thirst is real. Yeah. And it's like, what do you get out of this? You still not. So bingo, she told us where we can find her and gave us the person exactly who it was. So I'm going to show you the picture right after we finish this. I'm getting the $4,000. <laughs> I told you, Robin is very concerned about that $4,000. Lady, if you were looking for money from a husband, again, the wrong road, because they ain't got it. They, ain't, they don't got it. Also, you know, guys, uh, don't sue me. In the words of Tasha K. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got it. <laughs> Wait. Don't sue me. Okay, so let's get into the receipts because she told us it was on everybody's favorite, the Jasmine brand. <laughs> you know, you got a little, you got some attention. And okay, I'm talking about, hi, hey girl, I'm talking about you on Reasonably Shady. Like, <laughs> stop. Like, is your life better? Has your life become better? I, that's a good question. Has Giselle's life become better every time she talks about somebody's husband allegedly cheating? Are you having these conversations with your co-host? No, that would be a conversation I would want to see on RHOP. Has, that's what people really should ask themselves yes. when they are like so hell-bent on trashing other people and wishing yeah. bad for other people. 
does this make your life better? Right. She asked Monique the same thing as Monique exposed Jamal Bryant on that reunion. Does this make your life better? But every time Giselle does it, she's right along for the ride. So maybe she only thinks that if the information is true. But if Giselle is spreading a false rumor, she doesn't mind it. Right. Does this make you That's feel better question. about yourself? Yeah. Does this take all of your problems and worries away? Right. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Giselle, thank you. Go with that next time you try to ruin a marriage. But okay, so here are the Jasmine brand receipts because, you know, I'm an investigative journalist. Again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We, we do it all around here. So the Jasmine brand. A Twitter user alludes to spotting one of the RHOP husbands out on a date with another woman. Thoughts? Now, Mr. Ray is from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Um... So, you know, he is a verified person. Um, the girl goes on to say, she knows all about me. And then somebody else says, ma'am, spill it. And then Mr. Ray says, girl, don't play on Beyonce's Wi-Fi. I'll hit my sis and see what the T is. And she says, Mr. Ray, I'll DM you and send you what I sent her. So all of that lines up. All of that lines up. And here is that person. Now, um, first thing I noticed, she doesn't look like Karen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. First thing I noticed, she does not look like Karen. She's a very pretty girl. Um, this is all public record. This is what Robin put out. And this is also what the woman put out. So... Um, I don't know exactly where to go with this. I have now tried to friend request. I will reach out for an interview, but this all lines up with exactly what we just heard from Robin on her own podcast. This is the woman who was in the comments. This is the woman who DM Mr. Ray. This is Juan's alleged Canadian mistress. Now, there was another young lady who had alleged Ron was liking all of her pics. And my friend Gabor pointed out that this looked like old pictures of Robin, this lady. So maybe Juan does have a type and it's not a blonde. And that's why Robin did not see anything that Karen said as legitimate because she knew that the woman was this particular woman was not blonde. I don't know. What I do know is that there are kids involved and this has gotten really, really messy and really, really sloppy. Um, they are now married again. So hopefully since they have taken their vows for a second time that they definitely will, you know, do it right this time. And Juan won't be laying it low and spreading it wide all over the streets of Georgetown. Allegedly, allegedly <laughs> you guys, um, if you are new to the channel, I did a birthday party with the all-star cast. Jamie, that's me, Scotty by Nature, Gabor, Sipping the Monty, Cotty B, Storm and Row, Plez, also known as Scared of Beautiful, Really B TV. I will link that at the end. It was an adult party, so just FYI. But um, we got a Kim is in pre-foreclosure. Again, allegedly, I will link this video as well, along with my Potomac review. I do a weekly Potomac review right after the episode. I will link all those at the end of the video. But I want to hear from you guys. Now that this Canadian alleged mistress is out there, what do you think? Does it, I mean, all of the story has been validated. Or do you think that Robin is just making this up to have a storyline next year? Either way it goes, put in the comments, you guys, I'm breaking stories. You won't see this anywhere else on the net yet. So I just, it's too much, y'all. It's too much going on. <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs>